some rares. That's freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right. Well, what is up, my friends? Welcome to the Bronze Mythic. Charged after our account from Bronze Mythic Episode 16, Draft 16. Hit the like button. Support the content. Follow the content. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Do the things. We're doing pretty good, folks. We're already in Diamonds here, too. We're only on Draft 16. The best ever run of Bronze Mythic uh, was 17 drafts in Ikoria. We have a possibility to match that. It'll be difficult, but it is possible. Uh, but we're looking pretty good for the under right now. The under over is 22.5 drafts to Mythic. And... Uh, we're doing pretty good, so let's keep rocking and rolling here. Let's open some good packs, hopefully. Open some good rares, and uh, let's do our thing. One tower shocker, please. All right, I I accept. Crypto code's fine. We'll allow it. So we got crypto code here. Obviously, an absolute bomb rare, phenomenally good card, uh, just excellent. And then otherwise, the packs got a basher, a galvanize, and not too much else. You know, an eavesdropper, a gadget guy. Pretty thin pack, honestly. You know, no great on commons, few good commons, but yeah. Slam dunk, easy first pick here in Crypto Coat, which will give me time to talk about untap.gg. You can download it for yourself for free. Uh, tracks all your games for free. Also has DraftSmith, which you can see here, which has a draft helper. Uh, very, very simple. Up here is the LSV static set review ranking. Up here is the ranking based on uh, on uh, the stats on Untapped. And then down here is the dynamic ranking based on the cards you already have cross reference with the stats. So it's a nice little draft helper. It ain't perfect, but it's a great little helper if you need a little help uh, in your drafts. If you're plateauing at all, or uh, kind of just like having 17 lands open, but also just like in a very easy to use way, which is great. So, Crypto Coat's our first pick. We'll also be doing our drafts, which takes the wheel draft uh, when the series is over. We do it once a set, or we just follow it blindly. You definitely shouldn't do that, uh, but it's fun. So, all right, we got Lost in the Maze, not much else. I think Lost in the Maze is like fine. I think it's pretty overrated. I think it's often not better than Out Cold, but it is pretty good. Uh, and this pack is also really bad. Like, I could see an argument that Witness is better than this card because you just get out colds for free later, but we'll take the loss in the maze. Take the rare. Should I keep the rares going? So, pretty bad. Pretty bad two backs, though, honestly. Got a slice. We're passing a slice, a Witness, and not much else. So, take two blue rares in a row and get past. There you go. It's out cold. So, out cold. So, we got Crypto Coat, Lost in the Maze, and uh, get past the pack here with a Case File Auditor, which is a card I actually like a lot. Uh, I should be Lost in the Maze, too. This is my table. Uh, this card's kind of great. If you have like four, four or five enchantments in your deck, this card's super reasonable. It'll draw a card a lot of the time. It blocks well. It's a detective, which is kind of cool also. So, pretty big fan of this card. Uh, not on watch is great though. Good removal spell. Out cold is good, but obviously we have lost in the maze now. A couple lands, a couple morphs. I think it's not on my watch. Just a really good removal spell. And just totally reasonable. I think taking out cold here would be too, too, uh, conservative. So, take that on my watch. Pretty cool. I think the dream of, like, casting this card on turn 10 to tap all their creatures, it's just a thing that doesn't happen very often in this format. Uh, decks are fast. There's a lot of trading happening. So, like, you don't really need to tap six creatures. There aren't very many board stalls, typically. So, all right. Uh, we got pass back with an Assassin's Trophy. Not so good. A Undercity Sewers Free Suite. Also, Cold Case, Cold Case Cracker, and Make Your Move. Um, sewers is kind of great. I mean, Cracker is great, too. We don't know if we're white or not yet. This is a tough pick. Um, I think I take the sewers here. Just keep things open. You know, Coat and Lost in the Maze play well in a slower black deck, like blue-black deck. White doesn't seem super open at the moment. We could splash that on my watch. I think of a land. Uh, I like Cracker a lot. I'm a big fan. But I think we can just kind of take the land here, keep ourselves open. And, like, we don't know how many four drops we're going to have and so on and so forth. So, get past an officious interrogation. And I'll find you. This card's, uh... No. It's not great. This is just a pretty slow card draw spell. And again, not really what the format is all about. It's a very fast on the board format. This is not an on the board card. This is four mana to draw one card, six mana to draw two cards, eight mana to draw three cards, which is not particularly great. Uh, that being said, this pack's pretty bad. We've got Fae Flight, Investigators. We have Savior. If we end up being blue, black, splash, uh, white, or vice versa, I think it's Savior. Uh, we obviously can play it if we're blue, white. And then the land's kind of cool also to flip, to flip it, but... Pretty late Detective Satchel. Also a, ra a raucous theater. I mean, if you wanted to be really frisky here, we could take the theater and just like try and be like a multicolor deck. Um, not thrilled to take Murder, because I haven't seen any other black cards. 
Satchel is also like pretty good, but like requires more of a a theme deck, and that theme hasn't seemed particularly open yet. Furt of Courier is by far the safest pick. Uh, I don't like safe picks personally. I'm thinking of land. I'm trying to keep it open. I think multicolor decks are pretty playable in this format, and uh, I'm just gonna keep things open, figure it out. Passed a Soul Innervation, which is a good rule spell, and then basically nothing else. So I'm just gonna take this thing. It's a rule spell. It's obviously fine. Plays fine on a, uh, a blue-black control deck or a multicolor deck. Caught red-handed. Uh, criminologist, Stalker, of course, this is a bad back. All these cards are pretty bad. Um, I don't hate Criminologist, honestly. I think this card's, like, okay if you're doing the clue thing. But, yeah, just, just take the Criminologist. Looking for uh, something to believe in. We get past the back with the Sanctuary Wall, which is actually a pretty good in, like, a defensive uh, deck, which looks, looks like we're going to be. You know, you can get some of these, like, late white defensive cards kind of late, because even if white is not open, most white players are aggressive. So the card, like, Sanctuary Wall goes kind of late, as well removal spells also. Falcon's not really our thing. Yeah, check the wall. There's a Jaded Analyst, Random Morph, Random Morph Investigators. Analyst is a good defensive blue card. I'm in. Card's fine. Case file, Auditor Tables. <laughs> All right, so we only have one enchantment so far, but if we are playing white, good chance we get more, which is great. So, take the Auditor. Take Basilica Stalker, hope we don't play it. Investigator. So, it looks like we're Esper. Open up a Krenko's Buzz Crusher, which is obviously not particularly great. Uh, Makeshift Binding, Under City Eliminator, Whist Drinker Vampire. All quite good cards. That being said, I don't think we're that creaturey, so the Vampire is a little unexciting. We're not even, like, necessarily... Yeah, we're probably Esper. I only have one black card, honestly. We're not necessarily even black, but... Yeah, I think it just makes you binding, honestly. Binding, obviously, is a great removal spell. We're more of a defensive blue-white deck. Uh, it's another enchantment for Auditor. Now we're going to have three. We have uh, Soul Innervation, Binding, and uh, and Lost in the Maze. Yeah, I'm in for a Binding here. Binding's great. So we're going to be kind of like the rare, more controlling blue-white deck. We get past uh, a Lush Portico, which is just a really, really, really weird, really weird name for a land. Uh, Long Goodbye is obviously a great removal spell, but it is black, obviously. And we're not sure, you know, if we're Esper or not yet. We get On the Job, Analyst, Deduce, Escape Tunnel, Fairy Snoop. Obviously, I'd be happy to table any one of these cards. Take Long Goodbye here. Uh, again, Portico, we haven't seen any green cards at all. Usually green is the base for a multicolor deck, but like, we haven't really seen it. I think we're just Esper, so it'll take long goodbye. Try to be a more controlling, uh, like, Esper deck, maybe. Another Soul Innervation, which is, like, not great, but fine. It's probably worse than Slice from Shadows, but I think because we have the Case File Auditor, I'm a little more interested in it, honestly. Um, otherwise, I mean, Dog Walker, we're not that white, nor are we going wide. So this isn't going to be that good. Slice. Yeah, I think we're just Esper, honestly. Just take the soul innervation and just like it's a good chance to get a second auditor too because this card goes kind of late again auditor sanctuary wall not on my watch these cards kind of go late because white's so aggressive so take soul innervation another long goodbye sure i'm in obviously a great removal spell so kind of a more traditional like controlling limited deck which is not super common in this format but it can be done as we're seeing here Oh, Private Eye is so good. All right, so we got Private Eye here. Not really good for our deck, obviously. Oh, neighborhood detectives, huh? Uh, we got, what, like two detectives or something like that? Uh, also, Out Cold and Researcher. I think Researcher is pretty good in this deck. Ugh. All right. That stinks. It's still a 3 3 for 3 with some upside, which is pretty good. It also helps to send a better signal, too. This is tough. All right, I'll take the private eye. Not be very happy about it. Coerce to kill. That's what we're looking for. That's the exact card we want for our Esper control deck. Uh, this card's awesome. A very awesome card, but pretty hard to play because like most decks don't want it, and blue black's kind of bad. But sure, it's also an enchantment for our our case file auditor. So now we have four enchantments, right? We have five enchantments. We're missing which one? We got Lost in the Maze. Binding. Oh yeah, innovation, innovation, course to kill. So now our now our case file auditor is like one of the best cards in our deck practically. So 
Uh, there's an Out Cold, an Automaton, Gorehound Wrench. A few good green cards, too, but just a good Automaton spot. Just a good card to play early. Uh, we have a lot of fours right now, so Out Cold's not really for us, I don't think. So, check the Automaton. Always can play it on turn two. Always blocks. Eight is great, too. Similar idea. Dev wants some more fixing here as a murder, too. So, it looks like we're just splashing white. Uh, splash white for, like, Auditor, Binding. Not on my watch. We're mostly just blue-black. Which is fine. Would I take the Private Eye over? I feel like I'm regretting that. We're already, we're already regretting that pick, but... Our curve's good enough. You can see we have a ton of twos here, which is very, very important to stay alive. Fixing is okay. We have one sewers. We need a little more than that, honestly, but... Agent is also a detective, it is true. So... Oh, neighborhood detectives, huh? I over out cold. I don't mind that, so... Another analyst or a snoop. Snoop's fine. Uh, it's not very good, but it can be okay in small numbers. Also plays a lot of toxin analysis. We don't really need more twos, so... Looking for a little card advantage. Croc Elf is also playable if you need a, a big thing. Snoop is also a detective. Oh, a researcher. Yeah, I kind of should be the researcher. I think that was a mistake, probably, but I think it's fine. Upset's pretty high, so... Take the rare, take the gems. Love it. You gotta get rich. Getting rich. Last pick, out cold. Wow. All right, so pack three. What do we got? We got another out on my watch. Not on my watch. This card is excellent. Um, Night Trigger Maroy is like fine, but not really us. Savior is actually really good in this deck too, but I wouldn't take it first here. But the, the Savior is great. Um, pretty happy with that. Yeah, not, not on my watch is great. Just take that on my watch. Pretty happy. Try and get a Savior later. I would say we're not playing the Investigators. They're coming on. Just get those out of here. Yeah, not much is good. Kind of a weird removal-based deck. I don't see that very often. We got a Novice Inspector. We're obviously not base white, but the card's so good. It might even be splashing blue at this point, honestly. Blue has not been, pretty, not been very open. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Maybe it's lost the maze a lot worse, but I think the Inspector is the best card in the pack by far, so. Uh, another Maroi. A Meddler, a Deduce, a Savior. I think it's Savior time. If we're like black, white, splash, blue, it sucks also because the the loss of the main is double blue too. We might not even play it, but yeah, I think we're just uh, we're saviouring here. This card's great in our deck. Sure, ship it. The deuce is good too, but if we're not maining blue, it's kind of tough. So, uh, scene of the crime is a card I'm not thrilled about, but it is a fixer technically. And I think everything else in this pack sucks. So sure. With coat, you want to be base blue because you want to be able to play it, bounce it, and play it in the same turn. That being said, if we have no other blue cards, then, you know, whatever. Why is Savior good? It's a 2-1 flying lifelink. You play it, and you don't block, and you attack, and gain life, attack, and gain life, attack, and gain life. Like, just a good solid card. This card is one of the uh, the morphs that is much better to just hard cast than actually morph. Uh, putting this face down is usually not particularly exciting. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh, my God! That's a pretty good rare for us. Uh, okay. There's a specialist, too. Wow, and a slice. Damn. All right, it's sleuthing time. Hello, sir. South Park Junior Detectives. We're wondering if you have any crimes you need solved for a dollar. Cool. Uh, Maroy or another agent. Agent is great in our deck, so... Proft is nice. Yeah, that's a great one. Um, it's a Maroy like every back, but... Uh, take the agent. This is 23 cards. Yeah, I would say we're just, like, black, white, splashing blue. I'm not playing this card either, I guess, which kind of sucks, but let's play the out cold, maybe, you know? Um, we're looking at, yeah, blue card, blue card, blue card, blue card. So four blue cards, it's fine. I would love a little more fixing, honestly. Curve looks pretty good. There's a case the pilfered proof. It's not really us. Reasonable doubt, can't splash that one. Um, Tracker is not really very good either. Currently, our detective count is seven. It's actually not that bad. We have Inspector, double agent. It's an enchantment for the, the case file order, too. I'll take that. Whatever, sure. I'd want, like, two more detectives to be interested in it, but... All right. No detectives here. I mean, the analyst, but it's, like, not... We're not going to splash that, obviously, so... Dramatic accusation is pretty eh. It's an enchantment, in theory, for my uh, auditor, but, like, we only have one auditor, so it's fine. 
I mean, whatever, I don't even play these cards, so. Uh, relive the past tables. And we're not playing these cards, so sure. Take the gems. We could obviously, I don't mind playing Out Cold, don't mind playing even Analyst, maybe. Laundry, Stalker. These are all cards we can play. We're not thrilled about it, but we can do it. Other Out Cold. Toxin Analysis is great in this deck. Uh, with Double Agent and uh, Fairy Snoop. This card's really, really important for these defensive black decks, so. Case the Shattered Pact. I mean, it is a fixer. Like, we do need fixing. It's also an enchantment for the Auditor. We're not playing... I mean, I don't think we're going to play it, but we'll see. Alright, so... Alright, I mean, like... This is fine. I'm not, like, thrilled, honestly, but... I would say our deck is certainly playable. Let's take a look. Drasmith says... It likes it. Asper, yeah. Alright. So let's uh, take these out. So we have blue card, blue card, blue card, blue card. That's it. Again, detective count is currently seven, which is pretty low. Um, this is 24 cards, including the case, which is like kind of sketchy. This is pretty sketchy, honestly. So don't want to play this card, really. Our fixing is bad, though, so like we might need to play it. Although, Scene of the Grind is pretty good in this deck. We have a lot of crappy creatures to tap, so... It's, like, kind of fine. Um, Case the Pilfered Proof is pretty bad, this deck. Yeah. Let's just, like, not play the case. Uh, this is 23 cards. We're looking at five enchantments for our Auditor. Um... I think we could play Out Cold. Investigators are both okay. Okay, bye, Karn. Um, I think we're playing the Shattered Pact, which sucks, but, like, I think our fixing is just kind of bad. We just need to have it, so... Um, four blue cards. Again, our private eye is not great, but I think it's fine. Stalker's pretty bad. Just a pretty un unimpressive card. Um... I don't hate the Investigators, honestly. This card's like not a bad... We're like kind of lacking in top-end stuff. Both of our good rares are cheap anyway. Um, just going to think here for a second. Is it possible this deck wants to play 17 lands? I mean, the thing is, the case is basically a land itself, which kind of sucks. We want way more spells, so... Um, it might be Basilica Stalker. Investigator's fine. This card's kind of cool because you can, like, bounce your own agent or inspector for value. It can just, like, buy some time. It's, like, a fine card. It's not great, obviously, but it's certainly reasonable if you need a top-end card. That does give us the detective, though, which makes me want to play the killer pilfer pilfered proof also, but I think it's fine. So... All right. I'm going to play the Basilica Stalker. It's just like a morph. Just play it early and just do the things. Let's do that. We're going to play the Scene of the Crime and the Sewers. we got to play Mismatch Lands here, right? So we're going to go one of each of these. Uh, again, I, I, I kind of want the second island because of how it works with Cryptic Coat. I guess I have two other blue sources, so if the game goes long, I'll be able to do that. That's fine. All right, so let's fire in some lands. And... Um, Second island, yeah, it's, just, it's just this. It's just eight, eight, eight white, eight black, and three blue, not counting the uh, Case of a Shattered Pact. So, all right. So, that's the deck. Uh, it's not great, but it's fine, I think. This, this is a reasonable deck. I'm not, like, super happy with this. So, it's prediction time, folks. Time to place your bets. What do you think? Seven wins, yay or nay? You two folks, I guess I can pause the video. Scroll to the comments, liking the video along the way. Like, comment, subscribe, do things. Leave a comment, all caps, believer or non-believer. What do you think? Seven wins, yay or nay? Let's do this. Real fast here, made an error. Um, I, I missed that prof is double blue to use. Uh, we're going to be playing a second island. So we're going to add a second island to the deck. We got non-believers, folks. Chat's here. Non-believers are gone. Uh, we can keep this. 
Sanitation Automaton will get it done for us. That's why you can never look away from the stream, folks. You gotta always watch the stream at all points. Never, ever, ever look away. Don't wanna close my eyes. Uh, we can keep running. You can go morph on three, packed for planes, goodbye on four. Oh no, one three. The natural predator to our two one. All right, so play morph. So there you go. Nice disguise, by the way. So next turn is packed for planes, and we play long goodbye, maybe. Snarling ground. Agent. All right, toxin analysis is gone. This card is pretty bad in like the grindy mirrors, so. All right, so they get to surveil. This is gonna be a grindy one. Keep the card on top. We draw scene of the crime. Okay. Um. That makes me more inclined to probably just flip the uh, the one four up. Honestly, like I'm just gonna play this lance. I go. I'm just gonna. Very snoop. Find a card. Do the thing. Slimy dual leech. Good murder target. Alright. Um. Too much murder now. Murder. Get off my plane. It's all fine. Blocks are great. We just draw planes anyway. Alright, so our case is almost worthless now, unfortunately, but we drew a bunch of lands. I can get an island for our Fisixes or whatever, whatever but uh, we're still going to cast it. Cast case. And get... It's funny, like, I kind of want to get the island for the Sphinx's Dread, but it's like, it's like so far down the line. We have, we have, the, uh, we have this thing, too, so just get up, just get up planes. Alright, so get up planes... We have our flip on the snoop, which is going to say go. Not really in a rush here, you know, like, just going to get our card advantage going, keep the board stable, and try and find some of our bigger cards. Definitely drawing to our rares here. Inspector, sure. You know, our uh, our Sphinx's Rev guy and our Cryptic Code are going to be huge here, probably. They're going to loot. They play a new detective. We can uh, long goodbye. Let's card a swamp. So there you go. All right, flip it up. Take off your mask. Oh, the master sleuth. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? All right, so they have two cards in hand. They have black, black up. I mean, we obviously want to be able to use this. We're just gonna cast it though. We can't not cast the card, so we'll just cast it. Leave up long, long goodbye. Just hope we, uh, hope it lives. If it dies, it's still a two for one. So like, you know. We get to untap and cast make sure the game is over, which is cool as well. So we'll just say go here. Master Sleuth. They've not played a kill spell yet. So it ended up just being like a super inspector, which is fine, I guess. Alright, you got me. Alright, so we'll just uh, draw a card. Draw a swamp. Draw not on my watch. Alright. I mean, we're coming, getting pretty close to sacking the scene of the crime here. I'll just sack this. Cryptic coat. Sanctuary wall. Alright. Well, sure. Not going anywhere for a while. I think it's time to attack for one, folks. Say go. This is going to be a nice long one, folks. Get a stickers. Buckle up. Another slimy dual leech. Uh, sure, I guess. It's fine. They're going to surveil. Hmm. 
It's, I mean, it's annoying. You know, it's fine, I guess. We're not playing nearly enough detectives for the, for the case. The case is very bad. Um, you need to have, like, 11 detectives in your deck for that card to be playable. So, as you can see here, we have one detective in play, you know? Alright, so... Yeah, this is fine. No blocks. I mean, I want to go buy the inspector. I don't really need to, though. Not that. Cool, another land. Alright, sure. So let's play another land, and then we'll just say go. We have our sanctuary wall for whatever they target. And we just got to draw a cryptic coat. <laughs> Only have the one blue, though, which kind of sucks at the moment. Tap the Gorehound, and uh, we'll decline a Sun Counter, because they can keep moving this around, obviously. I mean, eventually they'll draw lands, too, so... I would probably have played a Raised Enemy stack. I mean, maybe not, actually. We have, we have, we have the Cryptic Coat, so... Alright, our turn. Draw a Soul Innervation. That's pretty good. Um, we can do this and tap, right? So we can get into our attacks again. Attack. We're going to uh, second or first main phase Soul Innervation the Leech. Don't have much that exiles from our graveyard, unfortunately. So the uh, the Rider attack is not going to matter that much, but. No reason to tap either. I'm pretty happy blocking and trading here. The Gorehound will accrue them value over the game, so just like trade off a 2-1, which is totally fine. 2 ones doing literally nothing right now, so they play a Criminologist. Sure. So we're just going to, uh, no, hold on. Let's see if they're going to sack this Tri Strider or not. They do. So draw a card. This card's like fine. It's filler, obviously, but like it really isn't that bad. We're gonna tap this and just stun it, I think, too. Nah, I'll just decline, actually. Never mind, I lied. We have the not on my watch. So we draw an like, agent, which is like fine, I suppose. And we'll attack for one and just say go. <laughs> Cryptic coat waiting room. Population me. They oh my god, their hand must be insane. They bin and extract the confession. If their hands all kill spells, like, obviously all of our creatures suck, so. And Cryptic Coat will be insane there, too, so. Alright. Just try and do the Cryptic Coat thing, that'd be great. Yeah, this card, not a detective. Unbelievable. Alright, so. I misclicked, but that's kind of good for us. So you want to cast this anyway, probably. All right, get out of here. Get off my plane. Second Island is in the deck. We also have the Scryland, too. So, Lazav, where a face of the card's busted, too. That's a detective, too? Oh, gross. All right, so... I'm going to tap and lock this down. We're going to probably want to kill it eventually. We don't need to yet, though, so... Another freaking land. All right. I mean, now attacking is just trading one for three, so we'll just say go here. This kind of sucks, but sure. It's a real barn burner here. Killed my detective, you know? It's so rude. Coerced to kill on my fairy snoop. <laughs> if you say so, I mean, live your life, right? Okay, yeah, sure. What's up, Corey? Corey, Risa, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. We got one cryptic coat in the deck. That was on the overlay, courtesy untapped.gg. And uh, we have a course to kill also. I'm just. <sighs> Somebody's playing a 
prank on me. Good thing, good thing maybe if he's really ugly lands in our deck, you know? Alright, let's just say go. We'll draw a spell eventually, right? Hopefully, possibly, maybe. We even, we even cracked the land this game, too. Alright, let's kill the stupid Lazav. Let's tap this thing. No lockdowns. I mean, they have six lands. They've had all spells so far. I guess I just one land, but... This is why I love Tire Shocker. It's right. A second Spectre. Oh, that's bad. Alright, well, I mean... We're being outspelled by, like, four here so far, so... Obviously, Inspector helps, so... They discarded another Gravestone Strider. They're playing two Striders. In what looks to be a, a, a Demir deck. They discarded Push Bull, too? Damn. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh, my God! Don't go shy. Oh, my God. Alright, so... Now we see go. And now we're in pretty good shape. Only one. This is why you don't want to splash Cryptocope. Because you want to be able to keep bouncing it and playing it over and over again. We do have two islands in our deck and another blue source. We have 15 cards in our deck. I'd rather draw spells, obviously, but... This is sort of the problem with, like, these blue-black mirrors. Where... It does come down to, like, the rares a lot more because the games go really long. Uh, at the Pro Tour, I had a blue-black deck. My opponent was also blue-black. It was just a mirror. But they had a really as Vindicator, and I didn't. And, like, I just couldn't win because the games went super long, and they would always find it. Like, this is... Uh, I mean, we have outs for, like, a turn, probably, but not many. Um, sure. Just block here. In here. I mean, blocking here and taking draining for two is kind of worse than just not blocking, I think. So, we need to drop basically exactly Coerce to Kill. Our outs are Coerce to Kill is the Stones, Makeshift Binding, uh, Auditor can redraw. Not on my watch, probably not good enough. So, those are our outs. We have outs. We're at eight here. All right, here we go. Here we go, folks. We need this. Bingo. Wrong button. We need this. Come on. Coerced to kill. Rebuy. Here we go. We get six looks at coerced to kill or binding, actually. Or both! Okay, 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 okay. So, coerce to kill. And now we're going to sacrifice the agent and go down to uh, six life and be in pretty good shape, I think. Right? We got two mana left over. Got to have a blue, unfortunately. But, yeah, ship it. So, coerce to kill. Targeting Amber. Ward. Sack a creature. Go to six. My Vein Ripper, thank you very much. I'll take that. I know how to use it. I got Seth Manfield's... I got the... I got a Ripper signed by Seth, the Pro Tour. Obviously, we all crushed the Pro Tour playing the card. No! Come on! No! You can't do this to me! Hello, darkness, my No taxi backsies. That sucks. <laughs> like that really sucks. Um, I mean the bindings in our bottom cards too. <laughs> no wonder they were so uh, quick to coerce to kill my freaking fairy snoop because they had two of them. All right, surveil. <laughs> This is bad. This is really bad. Let's say go. Uh, the binding's down there somewhere. Just tap the snoop. 
block this thing, take one. Down to six. Uh, the clock is ticking, obviously. I have to sack a thing to get target this anyway. Basilica soccer, that's bad too. I think I might be dead, folks. I thought we had it. I thought we were going to beat the Vayne River. We draw planes. Why you got to be like this? Who made you like this, huh? Cloak. Cloak us at once. We cloak of planes. All right. All right. Let's just say go, I guess. We're running out of cards, too. The cloak isn't very good when you have only nine cards in your deck. I think we might just, like, not be able to win. Um, like, deterministically. Down to four. This is it. We need to draw a way to w stop this thing. Draw a long goodbye. That is not good enough. All right, we're dead. Man, they stole it back, folks. How rude is that? All right, I mean, make them kill us, I guess. We got eight cards in our deck. They are not on my watch. Unscrupulous agent, makeshift binding, private eye, savior, basilica stalker, AKA not good enough. And now we can't win because we're going to two. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Yeah, that's a bummer game. I don't have to tell you. That's uh, not a fun one, but uh, it is what it is, folks. Oh, we lost the ranks, too. No. <laughs> folks, when you're sad, go buy Elgato products because they're freaking great. All right? Stream decks. You get to play sound effects. Have a great time. Control your stream. Control your content. Do your thing. I got a new link. We also have a promo code. I haven't added it to the, uh, I haven't added it to the, uh, the graphic yet, but promo code... We'll get you 5% off most of the time. There are some slight stipulations on that, but 5% off ZZ Gym 5. Elgato. I use face cams. I use the key lights, a million stream decks. Elgato's super easy to use, super high quality. Every computer should have a stream deck, full stop. No matter what you do Photoshop, browsing the internet, accounting, streaming, whatever it is. Get one of those capture cards, they got it all. Elgato.com. Use the link, please, in the description or chat. They do sponsor me, so the link matters. And then again, the promo code is ZZ-GYM5. ZZ-GYM5. You're all great. All right. Um, hands good. Keep. Unfortunately, we have two of our enchantments ready for the auditor, but it's fine. I just think this card's awesome. I just think this card's neat. So in that last game, we played our Sphinx Dev guy early, and he got killed by our removal spell. The problem is, like, there isn't much in my deck that will draw out air removal spell anyway. And it's still a two-for-one regardless, so. All right, so we're going to jam our flyer here, which is awesome. Get a candlestick. Yukai says, you have a recommendation for a standard list, local game store championship coming up. Uh, if you want to beat Boros Convoke, most of the black mid-range decks are pretty good. But I haven't played enough standard to have a good, a good uh, answer for you, though, unfortunately. All right, here's an automaton. Sure. Obviously, our auditor lines up well there. They mail a land. Agent lines up even better there. All right, let's attack. I think I want to wait on agent until they have less cards in their hand. Just play the auditor. Come on, here we go. We're a little light on hits, but... Oh, it's not... That's... that's it's a hit. It is technically a hit. And there goes Crypto Code to the bottom. Unfortunately, we're going to shuffle, so... Play a land, say go. Get an island, play an agent. Of course, the kill's online too now. Cold case cracker is a good card to steal. That's pretty good. Draw sewers too? Sure. So, we're just going to agent for. I might even get an island actually to plan for our our, uh, our Crypto Coat late game. We have already had double black too, so let's just play this. Let's get an island. Uh, we're going to agent and tap land. Thoughts on Raise Dead? I mean, the, the the format I bring two creatures back card? It's very slow. I think it is somewhat playable, but very, very slow. All right, so bin that. No attacks, they go. Pretty happy to coerce the Cracker. Um, K 
Candlestick. They exiled a Deduce, which is a pretty good hit. It's like a two cards in one, right? Here's a Projector Inspector, sure. Coral, almost at eight years? Everyone take a second. What's your effort for Coral with the resub? 92 months. That is absurd. Coral, one of the OGs. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. And they're going to just jam? Uh, sure. I mean, the blocks here are pretty good, right? Let's put this here. This is fine. Private this. Uh oh. Look who's awake. Look who's awake. Hey, Tuts. It's me. I'm awake. Hi! How you doing, man? We're playing magic! Days of work! Let's win this game, Cassian. I only got one card left. Oh, Karn's here too, I guess you're wondering. Uh, let's coerce to kill. We're gonna jam. And then we're gonna coerce to kill the Cold Case Cracker. It's a good pickup. Just say go. Where's Mama going, huh? Hanging out with Dad, Dad. Hanging out with Dad, Dad. Doing a stream. Doing a stream. If you haven't liked the stream or followed, please do it because it's Cassian's money. All the money I make goes to Cassian. He likes to eat the food. All right, they have double candlesticks. That's too many candlesticks. All right, they're in for a bond ticket to surveil, surveil for a million, but we got removal spell on this thing. Not on my watch for this thing. Life links attached, doing great here. So, yep, smiling. Who's a stinky boy? You're a stinky boy. Who's a stinky boy? You're a stinky boy. Oh, Cassian. Cassian, they have one card in their hand, Cassian. They got one card in their hand. They got one. We're going to get it. Get the card. We have to. We're going to get it, Cassian. Ah! Oh, give me that card. It was an out cold. Out cold. All right, now we're going to kill the inspector also. Attack with everything, right? So let's go land, jam. And I'm just going to tap. I'm just going to kill this right now so they can't even... Actually, no, we'll do, we'll do it in combat because they have the candlesticks. So just like a... They play in the snuffler. They got two wrenches too? What is going on? Why don't you start investigating over here? What are they doing, Cassian? They must be playing the magmatic snuffler, I agree. All right, get out of here. Lifeline from Savior being great here. We've already gained four life, which is awesome. They get to surveil. They want to tighten my nuts. So Cassian, don't listen to Twitch chat, all right? First thing I gotta teach you in life is never listen to Twitch chat ever. Ever, 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 okay? Dramatic accusation, that's rude. Uh, sure. So they're gonna have double candlestick. I mean, whatever, all right? Like, uh, all right, let's play a wall, attack with everything. Well, probably not on my watch the... When they attack. Maybe I don't even bother, actually. Like, they get to attack and surveil four anyway. All right, so here's surveils. Let's resolve both of these. All right, they've been land, land. They've been... Land, land. <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on them. Um, I'm just gonna block. Let's see if they have a trick or not. Please play a trick. Please play a trick. Please play a trick. No, we couldn't get him, Cassian. Yeah, this is fine. Should tap whatever they do. So. Uh, oh, 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 oh. What? 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 Whoa. That's a better card than exile, actually. So or tap. So. All right. Um. Let me just tap this. And, yeah, we'll just tap this and exile. Eh, it's like tough because they're both reasonable. Um, they're at nine. Eh, just do it. Tap this. Let's stun it. Let's attack. It is six. How's Teeth feeling, kid? Hmm. He has a molar coming on the top. It's pissing him off. How's it feel? Feeling good? What? 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 We smacking? They're doing good here, Cassian. We haven't drawn any rares this game, right? No, 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 no microphone. You can't have that one. They're not going to appreciate that. It would be a loud, loud sound for them. 
And I know we don't really like Twitch that that much, but we can't be that mean to them. And then they'll stop watching me. And then you'll starve. You can't do that, okay? Oh, no, starve! Oh, no, starve! Wouldn't make my son starve, would you? All right, so uh, more surveils. He wants to hit the button. That's all he wants to do. Want to hit a button? All right, that's, that's, one button. He's literally one button. More, one button. So oh, no. What? That's the one you choose? That's ominous. Ominous. That's All right. my boy. You can go back to mama. Can you say bye-bye, chat? All right, well, it's here for Cassian. Say bye-bye, chat. You already hit your one. You won't get me on. They've been a jaded analyst at a land. I guess it's like... It's so, so weird game is we're kind of like the beatdown, so this card's kind of eh. I'm just going to cast this, whatever. Like, it's hard to use offensively anyway, so... And I have a tapper regardless, so... Not on my watch. They're going to crack a clue in response, which is obviously weird. Yeah, I'm totally getting a clue. All right. Two cards in hand, six life. They have 12 cards in deck. I mean, they'll find a Magmatic Snuffler eventually, right? It's a pretty good card, honestly. I can just tap it, though, so. I like the... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Cassie left far too soon. Cryptic code time. With that second blue, too, which is very important. Ugh. That was bad. Alright, they have make your move to th in the other cracker back. It's pretty shitty, but sure. Right, we get a fairy snoop? What? That was awesome. Alright, we'll take it. Cool. After it was all over, we took it in the house of seven. Yeah, I was just went back, went, went, went back down or going back up. That's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Swamp, swamp, agent, long goodbye on the draw. And any non swamp source is really good. What do you think, folks? Keep your mulligan. I think we're going to keep this one. I think I have mulligan on the play. But I think on the draw with two things to do and then any non black land being great. Uh, these are all great cheap cards. They're all great defensive cards also. We got to keep this, I think. What do you think? Keep mulligan. Our lands are ugly. I'm going to keep. Like, if this was like, you know, a five drop and a six drop, I'd mulligan, I think. But two plays, any land casts all these, and they're all great defensive cards. In limited, I only mull at gunpoint. I agree. I think folks mull it a little too often in limited. It depends, though. Hey, Jim. I am sure you hear this a lot, but I created a Yaris Infinite combo and want to hear your opinion slash see you make a video on it if you think it is sick. What's up, Prophet C? Deck Tech, you got it. Remind me after the game. Uh, your, your deck live is closed, but Deck Techs are still open, so put the link in chat, please. Like, actually, in the chat. And then uh, we'll do Deck Tech after this game, my friend. That is funny. I never noticed that. The clues on the board that you can click are different colors than the ones in the game. Alright, so you draw the two, two non-lands, which is pretty bad for us, but... Now if we draw two swamps, we're still okay, too. So, like, we're... It's hard to miss. I know it's a bad thing to say. I shouldn't say it's hard to miss, because we might miss, but... Alright. Swamp is fine. Swamp is... It's not... Now any land casts these, either. So, we still have a removal spell. Any land cast removal spells, any non-black land is also great, and we're not under much pressure here too, so it's like kind of fine. I shake it, I shake it. All right, this is this is tough actually. So what do we discard now? Like, not auditor, not coach. Um, I don't think it's long goodbye either. It's got to be a soul innovation, right? I think the wall... This is going to be a long, another long game. I think the wall is pretty good in the long games, too. So, I think it's a... I think it's a soul innervation. I don't know. It's tough. It's obviously a long with being relevant. Eh, just go to the wall, whatever. These mirrors suck, by the way. Like, there aren't a lot of, like, slow decks in this format. So, playing a bunch of them in a row kind of sucks, but whatever. It's our third mirror in a row. All right, so no attacks. Interesting. Draw murder. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna block. 
down to a precarious 19, and they just say go to. Oh, it's going to be one of those games, folks. We draw planes. All right, here's the auditor. Are we going to counter it? If they do, whatever. It's fine. So that's fine, honestly. They're not going to suspect. This, obviously, we already have two enchantments in our hand, so it like wasn't, wasn't guaranteed to hit anyway, so. There's our island. Sick. Sick. Gotta get dressed up for you. They've cloaked themselves. We got a an agent on the bottom of it, sure. No worries, prop, no worries, profit. Your deck lives on the roadmap. A lot I wanna do, obviously. Slimy dual leech. It's a good target for my uh, soul innervation. Sure, Let's take two here. Should I just block? Like Whatever, trade. The coat's coming back anyway. It's a long game card, so. We draw a binding. I'd love to draw a land there so I can bounce the coat and soul innervation. I can just murder two, I guess. Ah, I, I want to hold them. Actually, I have my binding too. Look at my freaking hand. <laughs> Which one of my five removal spells do I want to use is the question, you know? All right, let's, um, let's just cast binding. Yeah, just cast binding. You can bounce the coat. Just like, I mean, when you have five kill spells in your hand, you know? Ross, you're a sub. Ross even, did Ross even talk in chat? How did you know Ross was here? Ross is always lurking. Ross is always creeping. Creepy. All right, so... Uh, there's a morph. Sure. Got to use our blue mana for this. Very, very important. Probably just long goodbye, too, so... All right, here's Cryptic Code. Here's long goodbye. Gonna hold a land in our hand. Probably should have done this the other way around, but whatever. Heh! <laughs> That's funny, Coral. That's funny, Coral. It was a... a Snoop. Mask man taking off his mask. That was pretty good, actually, because we had card advantage to support this matchup, so... It's weird, because this, this mirror like kind of matchup is so different than most matchups in this format, but... Alright. Uh, just gonna kill that one, too, I think. All right, this one is a take off your mask. A crocket elf, sure. I mean, unless they have a bomb of their own, cryptic coat probably go coast to coast here. Repeat offender, sure. No problems here. You weren't looking for me by any chance. And they're gonna. Were oh, you? all right, all right. Time out, folks. Never, ever, ever, ever do this. Um. So Curious Inquiry is not a very good card in general, right? But it can be okay. You, can, you, but you always want to try to ensure that hit, all right? And one of the really important things in Magic in general, we saw in our last draft, our opponents, two opponents played Tyrus Tracker on turn three and just didn't get a value off of it, you know? So one of the oh, do, do an island too? It's like, uh, one of the most important things, if you're going to play a card that has a low floor, you got to be sneaky with it. You can't just like, you can't just play this and like, it's not even relevant. Like, if I had a board of five one ones and they needed a 3-2 blocker, sure. But with cards like this, your goal is to try and get that first hit in and mitigate the downside of a card that's, 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 that's finicky like this. Oh, man. Don't do that. All right. So, we're just going to kill this, obviously. Uh, I just get a two for one. And then we're going to uh, play automaton and do stuff and whatever. And this, I mean, I think we're golden here. So, keep a snoop on top. Um... I'm just going to play the island. We need mana for Snoop and stuff. And if they, if they play Ravenous Rat, we'll lose Murder or whatever. Yeah, you got to like, you got to go, if you're going to go for a big hit, you got to go for it all in one shot, you know. So they're going to say go, four cards in hand, four mana up. Something uh, fishy here a little bit, but you know, not even worth an emergency meeting, I think we're going to attack because we're not going to not attack. So disposable creature and unblockable creature, so. It's actually a Basilica Stalker. I could flip this. It's kind of cool. They're going to kill my 2-1. Sure. So I could flip this for 5. And get a little trigger in. I guess that's not even worth it, I don't think. Um, yeah. For 5 mana. I could flip it and then bounce Cryptic Coat end step. 
That's pretty good. All right, sure, I'm in. Take off the mask. Let's get over four. Surveil. Gain a life. Top cards of plane. Spin it. Bounce the code. End step. Play another code. Play a morph. Stalker's Guild is still evasive, so. Murder. So, alright, sure. They're a similar boat to us. They just have all kill spells in their deck. Which is often bad in this format because, like, folks are playing cards like Person of Interest or uh, Inside Source. Things that make multiple cards for one mana. So, murder's really bad against them, but. Bounce the code. Just play code. They could have another counter spell here. So if we wanted to be super conservative, we could just uh, hold the snoop in our hand. Another reasonable doubt. They did play a land for a while. So these are probably two spells, and their hand seems kind of bad. I think it definitely could be a reasonable doubt. I just bounce this. Let's just like go. Yeah. Just getting getting vibes. You know, I'm getting vibes. Snarling Gorehound is here. And again, not a great card in these more controlling decks, obviously. Let's bounce the coat. Coerce to kill, sure. Attack for two. Have you seen my new coat? And what's the invisibility cloak doing here? I'm just gonna cast it, whatever. Go ahead, cast your counter spell, I don't care. No, nothing? Cool. Just don't deadly cover up then, I guess. I still have code then. Running out of cards is a possibility with the code. You need to be aware of that, but code's very good, yeah. It's pretty uh, pretty silly. So we're just gonna jam. Yeah, sure. They're going to murder the Undercity Sewers. Pay your ward, please. That's fun. Did they see that? So you see how that that uh, that trigger was black and blue? Revealing what my morph is, partially? They don't see that too, do they? Is it like a weird visual bug? Alright, take four. And wouldn't you know it, I'm so lucky, I just have another Cryptic Coat. This is the kind of guard that these blue, these black, blue black decks need. You, you can draft a blue black deck, it's fine. Or like a slower, more controlling black deck. But you need a rare. You need a card like this that can kind of really take over the game, which is important. So, let's keep it going. Alright. Oh, we got Tron. Oh, let's take, look at this hand. This hand. This hand is beautiful. Keep. Dubs agent removal spell. Hello, opponent. Are you there? I got Espertron. Espertron. Got a historic morph deck, huh? It's pretty cool. Looking at the deck list here. All right, Swamp, go. Let's do this. Soul Innervation. It's fun. It's got a hand where I'd rather be able to draw, honestly, because they have less cards in their hand. The case will not solve from lands. Lands are, lands are not colored. They are colorless. Blue-white, case the pilfered proof. Sure. What's up, Fire Mine? Easiest color to draft is white. White is the deepest color by far. So I got two swamps down. I mean, two planes down, sorry. Um, we should be able to kill for detectives so they can't solve this. Season Consultant. It's 2 4. We draw Fairy Snoop. Um, I'm in the. I was gonna kill this. I'm just gonna kill this. Attack for two. Next turn we'll go land morph. They missed the land drop. I'm just gonna keep going here. Mark art. No cold case cracker. That'd been bad for us. Three three phantom. We draw land anyway. 
Sure. Um, I think it's still Morph and Catter, Morph and Shatter Pact. Let's play land first because they have a counter spell. Just morph this. And then we'll play Shatter Pact for a, uh, a swamp, I think. No! We played around the, the, the quench and we got mana leaked. That sucks. All right, that's honestly fine. Like, they almost no cards left, so that kind of stinks a little bit, though. All right, get a swamp. A nice swamp, please. We say go. I mean, they only have one card left. They're like, they're out of gas, so. Damn, no more lies indeed. Attack for three. Manually tapping white, white, blue for morph, sure. I suppose it could be almost anybody. Right. Well, unfortunately, we're kind of floating our little bit here, but, um... I'll just say go. I mean, they, I don't know why they want to leave up a white and a blue. It doesn't make sense, but... Yeah, it makes total sense. It's not Dog Walk, obviously, but it's a Museum Night Watch. Perfect. It's actually great for us because it's a great target for uh, not on my watch. Gonna sack our Clue Land, too. Fish for a trick. Nope. Okay. Get out of here. Get off my plane. Take three. They do it again. This time they have dog. They have dog walker. Crap. Dog walker's insane here. Obviously. All right, that's bad. Oh. All right, you can kill the uh, the fam, I guess. So. All right, let's so untap and draw a planes. It's not ideal. All right. Yeah, I mean like. I guess it's not detectives, right? It's kind of okay. They dog walker? No, they're not going to dog walker. Okay. So kind of a little roommate. Their opponent's being tricky here. I don't know. They're being tricky. White, white. They love manual tapping their lands. Another morph. Disguises. Got to give flying. And it's Sanguine Savior. Try and give lifelink. Interesting. Which do we kill? Let me kill the Phantom. We have two of our own saviors to block this. This is easier to deal with. I'm gonna kill the Phantom. I could kill the, the Morph, I guess, but... We take a lot. A lot of damage. Um, Let's look at our deck real fast. We got a lot of stuff happening. I mean, like... Almost all of our, you know, our, our gas is still in our deck. It's a tough call. They also need to keep playing creatures, make a thing attack too. All right, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna kill the morph. So I'm just gonna take this damage. We're gonna kill the morph. Hopefully, it's something useful. Uh, no, thank you. It was a. Unyielding Gatekeeper, okay. I may actually draw another copy of Long Goodbye anyway, sure. So, say go. We need to draw something a little more exciting here, but yeah, that, that, it's funny, that, that counter on Fairy Snoop was actually like, might be the entire, the entire game. Like, the 1 4 and the extra car would have been so good in this game. Sick. Yeah, our deck's full of removal, so I don't mind just popping off removal spell here. All right, I mean, twenty to nine. I imagine our deck is drawing heavier than theirs is, but maybe not. I don't know. Attack. Just gonna play a land so I go. Got the clock is on. Unscrupulous agents. I know I was saying you should not morph this, but it is one free point of life if we want it. Sure. It does take down soul innovation, but I think it's whatever, so. Gain one life. 
It's like, yeah. Okay. What's happening? Maybe they're just keeping all the lands in their hand because they have the, uh, the, 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 the detective looter. Jack, I'm back. Consultant is a 2-4, which is a little annoying, but I doubt they're missing a color. Like, it's like possible, obviously, but Savior's so good. Just gain in life. Gain in life. Play a wall. Wall's good in this deck, too. Our deck's like fun. Our deck's fun, you know? We haven't gotten tested against an aggro deck yet, which is most of the format, but I think our deck is doing a lot of things right. Neighborhood Guardian. Good card. Not as good at this, at this stage of the game, but... Getting toxic. Alright, just gonna jam. I mean, Tapper, Lifelink Flyer, two good tricks in hand. Feeling pretty good about things. Again, it might seem weird, weird for them to hold like three lands in their hand, but they do have the 3-2 uh, the looter. Makes sense, so... Um, I don't think I even tap here. I think I'd rather just block and toxin analysis. Ugh, that hurts. All right, Bother's really, really good against us. Three one ones and surveil two. Oh, that's gross. They could have pre-combated that too and attacked. Just kind of, well, it sucks they didn't. Honestly, I guess they this thing, but. All right, uh, that's bad. That's pretty bad. So now our Sanguine Savior is like, not blank, but pretty bad. Maybe I just like, kill two things and start getting the, the one ones in. That kind of makes sense, actually. Let's do this. Let's stun this. Just kill this thing. Ah, oh, double blue. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, we have two blue sources in our deck somewhere, but... Alright. I don't want to try to save your off, so just do this. I mean, obviously, a 3-3 three, three Inspector is still fine. Like, 3-3 three, three Investigate 1 is totally reasonable, so... We can even just crack the clue. I, sh I should have cracked this clue first before, before I put a land. So I have a clue in this thing, too. Right, I'm just, I mean, whatever, I screwed up. I draw a blue tap line, I feel pretty dumb. Right, I didn't, so... Just like, up. Yeah. We have another clue here for the Revelation, so... I mean, Bingo. all right, so let's just attack with our, our one ones. I had to draw it eventually, only 15 cards in my deck. We're going to see a defensive on the job here. That'd be gas. Love it. All right, so we'll Toxin now, trade with one of these, and gain a little life. And now we have our clue for our Sphinx's Rev, too, so. All right, so. The old defensive on the job. It's a rare sight. And now we have Rev for five. You draw, you only draw one off your clue? That's weird. Why do I draw one of your clue, huh? You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Under city sewers, sure. I guess like decking's a mild concern, but I should be had some uh, evidence stuff for our soul innovations, but play morph. I'm going to be a master of disguise. All right, end step, red for five. Here we go. Who's ready? I 
murder, swamp, sewers, planes, case file, auditor. I've seen better, uh, but sure. So we'll find our 3 2 eventually. Um, let's auditor. Let's put Crypto Coat in the bottom of the deck, probably. All right. Well, we did. We found, we found Coerce to kill, though. Man, our deck's kind of juiced, actually. I like almost all spells. Take Coerce to kill. And. Honestly, targeting the consultant's pretty good. Like. It's going to be a 2 2. That'll be a 4 a 4 4 or 4 2, I mean. With that touch, it's pretty good. We're still scared of. Um, not scared of counter spells, but. Eh, just play, play this freaking land and just cast it, whatever. Cast this. Cast this here. Cool. Let me just jam. Obviously, the prof is. This thing's worthless now. It's not worthless, but it's not. We don't even need to rev again, so. I doubt this morph can block this safely. Only four mana up. That was the worst case scenario, but sure. Uh, um, all right, that's fine. That's like the 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 one morph on the whole on the whole set that uh, that punishes us for this attack. That's fine. So they get a three three. Whatever. I think we're still looking great here. Looks like someone to, to mill us. That would suck. The Vigilante. That's good. Two two flyer. Getting in. Sure. Is Millstone on the list? How it sucks. The card's busted. Um, we 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 even get to kill it, but like it's still pretty busted. All right, so this card's unreal. We can kill it, but this 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 got a clue off of it. All right, let's just start by surveilling. Take a look. We're light on cards in our actual deck. We have six spells in these bottom six cards. The cloak thing is, is rough too, actually, but... Alright. Um... Alright. Our deck is literally six... I'm sorry, five spells. The five spells are... Novice Inspector, Cryptic Coat, Private Eye, Savior, Basilica Stalker. They're all pretty big bangers. Um, obviously, got to murder Tessa. Trading consultant for that's not, we got to, we got to like tap this thing. Sure, let's kill this. Tap this. Uh, decline. Trading this for the 3-3, three, three, is that worth it? Not really. Sure. I want to do a backswing on the on the Vigilante, honestly. So I can, I can not on my watch it. Eh, I'll stack with this. Let's stack. Death Toucher. Probably block 3-3 three, three here. Take 2, I gain 2. Probably attack a Vigilante to try and get some counters going. I mean, you know, I might watch it, so... I think this is pretty good for us. Again, our deck is five good spells, so... Unfortunately, again, Crypto Code is awkward here, because, like, decking is a concern. But... I think we should be able to finish it off here. With our wall and stuff. And then a two. Four, I mean. What's up, friend? Go over the longest episode of the series if we can. How do you solve the case? That's the thing. You don't. Uh, um, it's just uh, just the mana fixers. Our mana base. We got some splashes. Mystery side. We also have the auditor too, so it's a little a little extra auditor value in the mana fixing. It's not great in our deck, but 
Cassian's pissed our opponent is not uh not going here. Here's a Gryphonaut Tracker, which is a 4-3, actually. That's pretty big. <gasps> exile creature. Exile creature. They exile the creature! <laughs> we did it! Soul Innervation! You thought it wasn't relevant, but it was. A killer among us does solve this, yes. I've also seen a solve with Niv Mizzet before, but in our deck, it's not possible to solve it. Now they're at two. <laughs> that is true, actually. We could coerce a red-green creature. And a spy, too. Holy crap. Can we, like, win this game? Like, with, with the cards we have in our deck? I guess Cryptico wins the game, right? As long as Cryptico is not the last card in our deck. Alright, so... I guess we just eat this. Their, their plan should be to win the game via decking and not attacking at all. Right, here's a Basilica Stalker. Um, that's pretty good. So we can safely morph this. Our other attacks aren't great. We can tap down this tracker though, so... Four cards left. Again, if, if Cryptic Codes are bottom card or our second from bottom card, we can't even use it. We have Private we have private Eye and Sanguine Savior, though. Which are both fine. No! I don't know if we can win. It's got to be Cryptic Code in our, in our top two cards. Not as Lifelink, too, actually. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. We don't even have any good, like, attacks. They should have all these flyers in play. This is ridiculous. Preposterous game. Thank God. <sighs> all right, Cryptico. We hit our Private Eye, which is actually kind of sick. Um, so we can unmorph Private Eye and uh, pump our squad secretly. This is the detective too, actually. They just block with this. All right, let's just take up. Don't have the bouncy thing. You can't move the equipment. It doesn't have an equip cost, folks. Read the cards. Very strange card. Hey, Karn's back. Hey, Karn. Oh. <laughs> That's fine, because they're just dead, so... Deck tech. Okay, so we're going to tap down the life linker. Bye, Karn. Our last two cards are Inspector and Sanguine Savior. Take him away, boys. Hey, I'm the chief here. Take him away, toys. All right, I mean. As long as it's Morphus in the Bouncy Morph. <laughs> I can give two things unblockable. All right, we're going to go out to, our, to no cards in deck. Here we go, folks. You ready? No cards in deck. Make this thing unblockable. We have two unblockable four-power creatures. If we don't win this turn, I would be astounded, but... Zero cards in deck. Move to combat step. They can't even crack the clue and draw out cold, so. Oh my god. They had a witness. We needed the clue to win the game. That is insane. We needed, we needed every part of the Buffalo, folks. We needed literally every card in our entire deck to win this game. 
They're both unblockable. What are you going to do? Except his planes, right. Except with planes. Still a piece of it looks nice, but... Oh, come on! You're dead. Three and one. Can I please play against Boros? Just have a faster game? Is that cool? I, I wouldn't mind. We can do that if you want. Back in it. Perfect, man. I love it. Hands great. Keep. Savior. Removal spell, toxin analysis. We got a beatdown deck. I'll take it. Oh, that was a great draw too. Long goodbye. Cryptic goat. Oh, we're doing it, folks. We got everything. We got it all. And our Boros matchup too. Man, wonderful. All right. Long goodbye. Great blockers. Good rule spells. All right. Do I long goodbye the herring? I would say no. Um, I'm just gonna long goodbye the morph they play. Don't be an inside source, please. Cool. I suppose it could be almost anybody. What do you got, friend? Dog walker. Is a forum familiar? Not very good. All right, so we draw a second, a second blue source. Just a sec. All right. Um, I'm gonna play cryptic coat with the intent of blocking. That's the thing about the coat. You're like a great blocker, too. You just play it and block with it. Get the card back. It's a freaking island. Who cares, you know? Land four. Red herring number two. Right. Block the new one. Block the fresh one. But they have a trick here also. All right. I mean, pretty good Boros draw. We wanted it, and we got it. We draw an Inspector, too. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to Inspector Savior. Leading up toxin analysis seems almost pointless, so just do this. Play savior. This is a blocking savior, I'm pretty sure. Right, we're blocking. Black Meowder says, gotta say, I'm really not enjoying standard. All, all you've faced so far is oops all board wipes and boros convoke. I mean, this standard format is super wide open. What are you playing? Like just a strategy, you know? Alright, so they have a, another trick, which is fine. We have Private Eye, which pumps our thing, and then also have uh, a clue and a toxin analysis. It's fun. Now I have one car left, and our blocks are pretty good. Return this thing in step. They're trying to go coast to coast with these red herrings. Toxin analysis is a good backup plan here. Oh, I, 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 I got so sad for a second. I was like, oh my god, they killed my cryptic code. I just bounced it, obviously. So They're going to sacrifice an artifact if you do, but counter, that's, that's phenomenal for us. Absolutely phenomenal. With this, with this thing in our hand. It's great. All right, so what is this? All right, um, I just got a call. I'm gonna have a hockey game tonight. Kind of cool. I haven't played hockey in so long. That'd be so bad. But all right, so here comes the herring. All right, uh, we're blocking. I'm not about both, I think. If they remove one, I have Toxin anyway, so this is fine. Eat Parsley! Resub, thanks so much. They probably should have done this before combat, right? Just pretty sure it's fine. All right, I think we're in phenomenal shape now. This is this game is just about to turn over into our uh, our wonderful happy place. All right, Soul Innervation. Get out of here. Get off my plane. You're gone. Attack for five.
Inside Source. Good card. Not at this point, though. Too far in. I'm a huge Ranger fan, yep. Ah, oh, actually, that's pretty sick. All right, they have Person of Interest and Inside Source. That's a pretty good recovery. All right. Untap. We draw Makeshift Binding. Sure. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll just bind the person. I shouldn't even need to do that. We can just play two blockers here. Yeah, just do this. Automaton and Cryptic Coat. Uh, ship it. Should I have left it there, actually? Because it's, like it's like a bad card. That doesn't matter, I guess, right? Uh, all right, let's take them. So you have four blockers. They have no cards in hand. They have a clue, but our blocks are great. Life's all still pretty good. Two life gain cards in hand and a removal spell if I draw some bomb or whatever. Here comes the 4-2. I will block with my 2-1. Numbers add up. Love it. No! Detective, sure. We draw a planes. Then we just jam, coat, flip, go again. Cryptic code so good! Your turn. This time it's a swamp. Here comes the person of interest and the reckless detective. They'll discard a lamb and draw a card. Alright. I mean, stoke to block, obviously. Here and here. I mean, if that's it, that's a great exchange. Yeah, sure. That works for me. We'll take that all day. Game. Cool. That was a Blouses. probably our best draw so far, honestly, against a pretty good aggro draw. Rempe uh, definitely threw his arm up last night. Might get two games for it. We'll see. Hands great. Keep. Agent. Uh, Scryland. Love it. All right. Planes, please. Oh, Cryptic Goat. We can't bottom Cryptic Goat. I can't do it. We'll put it on top. We'll draw land eventually. We got two two drops. We're good to go. Top card planes. Everyone say planes in chat. I need to manifest the planes at the top of my deck here. They're going to exile a tunnel tipster. Wow, tunnel tipster. Homicide investigator. That is not a planes. Not a lot of people said it. Right, we're kill this. They get the two for one. Sucks or whatever. All right, we're now out of things to cast. We need to draw land. They crack the clue. Oh, what an embarrassing clown show. They have no green. I draw the land. Cryptic coat's coming down. Let's go. They've cloaked themselves. All right, listen. After those first few games, I'll take a few quick ones, all right? We'll take it. One more from Diamond One. Uh, how about blue? We find some blue here, too. We're gonna keep this on the draw, obviously, with the inspector and everything, so. I have had one mono-white deck in this format. Uh, it was pretty absurd. Yeah, we had, I had three of the un Unicorn 2 drop, four inside sources. It was just, like, stupid. Now, that'll never happen, usually. Uh, but white is a good base color for, uh, any pair. Any, any pair of white is good. Like, some pairs are bad. Like, Rakdos is bad. Uh, Red-black. Blue-black's kind of bad. Green-black's kind of bad. Uh, but any white pair is good. So it's, it's a great place to start. What's up, friend? We got Mythic Player 168 here. Showing off their Mythic badge, huh? And Mulligan, huh? That's a damn shame. We're going to keep... Big match, folks. Mythic opponent. Let's do this. All right. Six cards for them. And we're on the... Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, we actually like being on the draw because we have double agent. And with them on the mulligan, too, this is great for us. We drew an agent as well. Agent of the morphs. Fantastic. Blue, white. And we draw the land, too. Oh, my God. Oh, it's 
Better lucky than good, folks. Play our ugly mismatch land. Fire up the agent. We got our private eye for like the beatdown curve here, too. Alright, so we got an unauthorized exit. Good card to discard. Bounce spells are very bad on the mulligan. And they play a morph. I think we're just in, right? Pump up the team. You disappoint me, detective. We're up beats and cards here. Stalker. All right, they're just going to give it to us. All right. I mean, we'll take it. All right. Again, after those sloggy first few games. Oh, we're doing it. This run has seemed pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we like, haven't hit many snags. I feel like our opponents have stumbled a lot. I mean, we'll take it, obviously, but sure. Chat's trying to call me out here. They've said I've practiced for the Pro Tour in the middle of the BTM. So, like, the, uh, since draft 10, draft 10 was the last pre Pro Tour draft. So, since episode 11, I've been in Pro Tour shape, not my usual, like, one draft per episode kind of thing. That is true. It's just part of the nature of, like, playing in the Pro Tour and stuff. So, that's fair. You got me there. Guilty as charged, I guess. Hands great keep. Drawing all three colors every game is also, you know, a good thing as well. And Crypto Coat. Uh, Crypto Coat, too. Um, I'm just gonna keep this land. I just want lands with our crypto goat. Yeah, I can do it. I'm gonna be able to get in a few Thunder Junction drafts before I leave, but not many. It's gonna be tough. The the schedule is really really difficult. Practicing is just an advanced form of cheating. I agree. There's a morph, sure. Ooh, man, rares for days. All right, I'm just gonna code to block with. Ruin gaming reset. Thanks so much. It is a swamp. Time for best of one draft, best of three. I think for I, I, I like best of one for content. I think if I like, if I'm playing for anything on on the line, I'll have to play best of three at a pro tour, major tournament, money draft. But we're just like streaming and having fun and relaxing. Best of one's great. Damn, they got a trick. All right. That's fine. We draw a long goodbye. We should play the private eye and say go. They, they're they're mono green right now. So they try and size up in combat. We can just toxin analysis, which is fine. So. Now they got red. I'm going to block here. So, obviously, they're going to flip up a morph here and win the combat. But, oh, wow, it's a performer. That's fine. Sure. So, that actually ends up being totally great for us. Just a one-for-one one trade. That's, that's awesome. But if they, they flip up, they spend five mana, make it a 5-5 five, five or whatever. We do each toxin analysis. Kind of card parity and good tempo. That ended up being great, though. That's good for us. So, we draw a case file auditor. We're a little light on lands here, but auditor plays great with the uh, toxin analysis. So, just auditor. Awesome. And just say go. Next week's weekly MTG is going to be about changes to arena premiere play. What's that mean? Like arena arena champs and stuff? Keeping this morph nice and safe. Toxin analysis with the one force is great. These lines are great. These lines are awesome. Very, very powerful. Block. All day. Not going to fire up the Toxin, though, on without them doing something, I think. Oh, they galvanized? Gross. That's fine, sure. Now I'm sad in Toxin analysis, but whatever, it's fine. Draw a long goodbye. Oh, man. Can we just, like, draw land? That'd be sweet. All right, whatever. Here's our profs. We're never casting a Sphinx Drive this game. A 3-3 with a clue is totally fine, though. I don't think modern will ever, ever, ever be an arena now. It is a massive undertaking. Ten years worth of sets, impossible. They haven't gotten Pioneer yet. Morph again. Disguises. And a reckless detective, sure. And no attacks. 
We draw a land. It's also a blue land, which is pretty awesome. Because now we have the ability to uh, to coat and just play it. Hmm. Killing both morphs here is pretty appealing. Um, it's not the most mana efficient, but still pretty good. I kind of like it, actually. Just kill the morphs. Just trade. This is the mystery where they've been, they've been, they've been trying to protect so well. It was a... Hellion. Makes sense. And then we're going to kill the other one. Which is a... Crocodile. Just, just big, big, dumb idiot morphs. And then we're just going to say go. I mean, we got to be a massive favorite here, right? Like, they have one card in hand. We have Cryptic Coat. It's a Glint Weaver. Sure. But we're going to trade and then kill it, which is fine, so. Will they go three on the detective and attack? We're not attacking. So you want to, I want to block this thing and kill it. You can't, can't let this thing run wild, you know? So they're going to make a 5-5 five, five and a 1-4. Sure. Sure. Uh, I mean, we want to coerce to kill this, right? Oh, it's Vigilance. Ah, oh, I screwed up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Bronze Mythic. <laughs> Missed a point. Catastrophe. Uh, or just steal this. Stealing things with counters on them with, uh, with coerce to kill is just awesome because obviously, uh, obviously, uh, you keep the counters, which is nice, so. Let's do this. Let's say go. Didn't miss that attack. Detective. Discarding a land. I mean, pretty st stoked to do this, I think. Don't draw a trick, please. Wow! The stones! Literal best card they could have drawn in their entire deck, and they didn't know it was there when they when they attacked. Alright, whatever. You got me. It's fine. We're still way ahead here, so. Let's draw a land. Unbelievable. All right, we draw. Oh, it's a tap land. All right, I'm just gonna kill this and just whatever. Let's kill this thing. Play land. Say go. That is insane. Why double block? Because I have two three threes and they had a three four, right? Oh, and a death touch. I'm so stupid. All right, I'm getting hungry, folks. I texted Nicole. We're getting lunch after this draft, and uh, I've hit the jackass button. We've been streaming for four hours. I've hit that button once yet. Now twice in the same game. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. We're still going to win. Scoreboard. Doesn't matter. We're still going to win. Our next great. Ace of a Shattered Pact. Um, okay. So, just bounce and recast Crypto Coach. We're at 21 cards a deck. Totally fine. I could Shattered Pact for a land here. Uh, Nicole says, get your head in the game. Lunch is for winners. Lunch is for winners. I disagree. I will be eating either way. How will you? But I'm going to win anyway, so... Um, we have two blue sources, two black sources. Yeah, just get a planes, I guess. And we're gonna play land. We're gonna play savior and just bounce a coat. Coffee is for closers. Karn's also here too. Karn's always a winner. He always gets lunch. You want to work here? Close. Bye, Karn. Yeah, that block is obviously very, very bad. Obviously a bad block. It's fine. No big deal. Everything's good. Nobody worry. Got Cryptic Coat. Got removal spells. Got life gain. The in response to disenchant me here. I'll be very sad. They don't. Okay, cool. Alright, let's attack. Karn's back. Squats! Just want to eat my lunch. Alright, you have a Galvanize on the Savior. Sure. I like your last card, please. Whatever it is, give me it. Is he land? Sure. Then we're going to go Coach. Let's bounce the Coat again. Let's go as they go. Oh, it's gone again. Cassie's mad about something. Uh, and they're going to say go. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to bounce the coach. 
This one is a plains. We draw a swamp. Okay. I'm not like enthused to. What, what's in my deck? Our remaining cards. We got a binding, a soul innervation, two not on my watch. Are we going to skill this? Normally we're like not excited to use our rule spell on a, a mid tier creature, but like we just have so many kill spells in our deck, it's fine. So let's attack for three. And play land, play coach. And just uh, keep doing the coat thing. This time we hit a fairy snoop. Kind of awesome, actually. Play land. All right, they're pretty flooded. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just bounce the coat again. Why well, crack a clue? And I can just have more freaking uh, creatures, you know? Talk about everything. And play crypto coat. Are you getting the joke yet? I'm getting it. It's pretty funny. And we can actually do it again with the uh, scene of the crime. This one's a unscrupulous agent. This one's a sanctuary wall. The cryptic coat army marches on. Can we get seven wins? Face down card, sure. Disguises. Nice toxin analysis. Untap. Let me hear you, chat. I'm not attacking until I hear y'all. Let me hear y'all, chat. Hasn't been a coat that ubiquitous since North Face circa mid-2000s. Let's go. Coming in. Karn's back. Even if it's a really as Vindicator, then we still win. It's a gadget technician. Karn's gone again. Karn's really having fun. Karn's just like... That's it. I'm going to clown college. Twelve cards left. They block the fairy snoop. Cool. Just flip it, right? Flip it. Top two. Binding. Thank you. Toxin analysis. Toxic plus snoops like one of the ways to make these two kind of mediocre cards good together. It's great. So, and uh, Cassie agrees apparently. And we got ten cards left. Sure. Bounce coat, replay it. This card is something fierce, folks. That one is a sanguine savior. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I count ten. Ten damage. More. Never mind. All right. Uh, sure. Whatever. Thanks, Black Meowder. Game. Seven wins, Diamond Tier 1, we're crushing! Let's go! Alright, so over to untap.gg for the stats. I think this deck is pretty good. Uh, I know it looks a little wonky, uh, but I think that as long as a deck like this has a card like Crypto Coat, or some really big, powerful rare to play to, a Vindicator, Crypto Coat, uh, Vaynerper, you can't always have those cards, obviously, but if you start your draft with one of those cards, don't feel pressured to be an aggro deck, or like the typical like green-white, red-white, whatever aggro deck. Uh, so, um, the, you know, and our, our mana was fine, you know, you get course to kill, just a good, a good grindy, you know, non -tip a very atypical deck for this format, where we're like, just defending and blocking and playing a bunch of like, maybe we're playing, you know, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Not many decks this one have nine removal spells, you know? So, so it's a pretty cool one, but I think a cool way to do it. And uh, went seven and one, looks pretty good. Chat asked where the Pro Tour break was. It was here. It was a season break also. So I did, um, hold on, I can back up. I did, uh, yes, yeah, so we did uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drafts before the Pro Tour. And now we've done six drafts after the Pro Tour, cruising along on both fronts. So 69% win rate. Nice. Next episode's coming up. YouTube folks, I'll be like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. Peace. I'm out.